Welcome back to my spooky channel, everybody. So tonight, I'm going to be doing a really awesome unboxing video of Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Now, I was going to do this video uh, on Christmas, but I got caught up with a lot of stuff, so I didn't end up actually doing it. So I'm going to be doing it now as I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of this here tonight. So I'm super excited because I ended up getting all of these three things. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is I'm going to start off with the small stuff and then I'm going to get to the main attraction of this video. So I am going to be unboxing the Super 8 Disney Tim Burns The Nightmare Before Christmas Undersea Seagal, or should I say Undersea Gal uh, from The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is from Super 7. As you can see, these are the $20 figures. Uh, so these are kind of inexpensive. $20, you may think, seems a little bit pricey since these are kind of small. Uh, but they're Super 7, so they are a little bit cheaper than like the Diamond Selects ones. So I did pick this up from Amazon. I think Amazon had a deal. So I actually didn't get this for $20. I actually ended up getting it for, I think, 7 or 8 So it was like $10 cheaper. So it was like a deal during Christmas that they did discount some of the Super 7 figures. Not all of them, some of them. Um, so I ended up uh, picking up two of them. But let's take a look at this one first. So this is Undersea Gal. And I'm going to be uh, adding this to my collection. I do not have her whatsoever. I don't even have a vinyl uh, Funko Pop of her. So I'm going to be unboxing this. So there is... The packaging as well now these are kind of hard to keep the packaging because they're just kind of like you tear it open and that's pretty much it and then in the back it does say disney tim burns the nightmare before christmas and here are the rest of the characters it says collect them all so in the series you do get dr finkelstein pumpkin king under seagull which we have here lock oogie boogie and wolfman and then also available is wave one so you do get sally jack skeleton with zero uh, Harlequin Demon, Vampire, Witch, and Mayor. So that's also available in the Wave 1. Uh, but these are actually kind of hard to find, to find a lot of these. Sometimes you see the Super 7 ones, you only find like one or two. Sometimes they can be out in the wild sometimes, trying to find a whole entire uh, series of it. So without any further ado, let's unbox the Super 7 Nightmare Before Christmas Under Seagull. Now, she is in Halloween Town, if you actually have seen the movie. She doesn't have that much of a role in the movie, though, but she is part of Halloween Town in Jack's crew. So, she is kind of like the quiet character, which you don't really know so much about. And a lot of people think that she kind of looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon, which I could kind of see that resemblance. Um, and these are Tim Burton's great characters, and we know how creative Tim Burton is. He makes such really cool characters, and... Who would think that this kind of character would be in a Nightmare Before Christmas movie? Um, so I did package it where I didn't actually open up. Like I didn't tear the whole thing. So this pops open right here. And I'm not going to keep it in the packaging because what's the point? It's better to just unbox these and just open them up. It just seems a lot more easier. And just you can enjoy it better. So let's take a look at Under Seagull. It's very small. Uh, these don't really have a lot of articulation per se. Like, it does bend a little bit, but not really quite. Like I said, these are not as good as the Diamond Selects ones. These are 20 times smaller um, with less detail. But like I said, for $20 figures, uh, they're not going to do a whole lot compared to Diamond Selects. So there's Under Seagull. It is very, very nicely detailed. She seems kind of like a creepy character in some sort of way. She's got like the scalish type texture to it. So she's kind of like a, you know, like an undersea type lagoon monster type thing in the nightmare before christmas so there it is right there she's kind of creepy and i picked up another super seven and it is the wolf man so this one i got on amazon as well uh this was also seven dollars so in total i paid like i think 20 like about about 13 to 14 dollars for two of them um, and this I actually saw in FYE, but then they actually ended up selling out. I saw it, and then I came back an hour later, and it was gone. So I just ended up just buying this off Amazon. And I do not have the Wolfman in my series whatsoever. I think this is actually the first ever time I'm adding the Wolfman. I don't even have vinyl pops of him or plushies. So this is the first time the Wolfman will be in my Nightmare Before Christmas collection. So let's take a look at the Wolfman. 
I'm really super excited to check this one out. Um, he is also part of Halloween Town in the Nightmare Before Christmas. So, and he's the one that actually s corrects the mayor in the movie, if you remember correctly, when the mayor counts down to Halloween and he's like, 364! And that's, I always get a, a laugh at that part of Nightmare Before Christmas when the Wolfman says that, 364! And he kind of corrects the mayor there with the countdown. So he's a pretty funny character. Um, so let's take a look at the Wolfman. I wouldn't really say he's super rare. I wouldn't really think. But like I said, I ended up going back in the store and he was gone. So luckily enough, I was able to find it off Amazon for a lot cheaper price. Um, I think I'm, I think FYE wanted like $20 for it, which wasn't bad. I would have paid $20, but they didn't have it. So it also comes with a bone. So he does come with a little bonus thing here. And even in the movie, he does carry this. So that does make sense. Put that to the side for just a second. And let's take a look at the Wolfman character. And we'll just put these to the side right now. And here is the Wolfman. So there he is in his ripped up flannel shirt. So very, very detailed. His arms don't move at all, so there's no articulation there. Like I said, these Super 7 ones don't really have a lot of articulation. So if you're looking for articulation, the Super 7 ones are not the ones to get. They are nice and small to collect, though. Uh, I think his legs do... Yeah, his legs do move a little bit, but not really that well. It does have like a cracking noise to it. So yeah, like I said, these Super 7 ones are just... is They, they are what they are. Um, and then here you can put the bone in his hand here if you want to kind of do that. I'm actually be adding this on the shelf. These are a lot more easier to add and collect on your shelf since they are very small. So that is kind of cool. So I'm going to try to put the bone in his hand here. Um, and I don't know if Diamond Selects even has the Wolfman. I don't even think I even seen it. Uh, but yeah, the bone doesn't really stay that well. So it is what it is. But there's a Wolfman and Undersea Gal. So those are the only two that I picked up. So we're going to put these two to the side for just a moment. And now we're going to get to the main attraction of the video. Because I am going to be unboxing something that I got for Christmas that I'm super excited of unboxing. Um, this is actually my third one in my series. If you actually look on my shelf right there, I have both of the Nightmare Before Christmas countdown clocks displayed on my shelf right there, series one and two, which you guys obviously can't see right now. Uh, but I picked up a new one that just got released on Hot Topic. So this is the Disney Tim Burns, the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, countdown table clock. So I have done, I think, two of these videos on my channel, if you could check that out on my previous one. So this is not the first countdown clock that I have. Uh, this is actually a newer one compared to the other two. But I'm not going to show you those because they are already on my shelf and I don't want to take them out. Uh, but this is a little bit different um, compared to those. Now, I'm just calling it Wave 3 even though there is no waves. But um, I do have a Wave 1 which has the cranberries like around it. And then, and then it has one where it has a block that you take out the countdown and then you have to put in either Countdown to Christmas or Halloween. That's what Wave 1 looks like. And then Wave 2 looks exactly the same with the cranberries around it. Except that it has a magnetic Halloween and Christmas thing on the bottom. So that would make... So Wave 2 looked a little bit different, but the same look. Uh, this one actually has cranberries like those and orange fall leaves uh, on it as well. So this one is a little bit different design, not much of a difference compared to the other two. The only difference is it has fall leaves on it. Instead, those just have cranberries. So that's the only difference. It's not really that big of a deal. So I pretty much think that this is the exact same thing. They just added leaves to it, which is not really that big of a deal. Unless they added something else different. But it says countdown table clock includes four countdown blocks and removable magnetic hanging Christmas blocks. So... Wave 2 had the magnetic one as well, so I think these two are exactly the same with that. So they didn't really change that whatsoever. So this is kind of exactly the same. But I wanted to get this because I wanted to add a full atmosphere to it, since these have the leaves. And I saw this available on, on, on Hot Topic's website, and then I was going to wait to pre-order it. Um, I was going to do it right away, but then I waited, I think, like two or three weeks, and then I pre-ordered it. I was trying to see... You know, I just wanted to wait a little bit as it got towards Christmas, if they had good deals. then I and, and then I was waiting to see if they had it in the store at some point. And 
they weren't getting them in the store at all. They said that they were going to get it. They 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 got the note that they weren't going to get it. So I just ended up just pre-ordering it online and I did an in-store pickup. So for some reason, Hot Topic wasn't able to get this in the store. And the other two, I actually ended up buying in the store. So I don't know why. For some reason, they didn't get it. But this is $54. So when I first did get it, it was $54.90. But price change, if you are thinking about buying this now, it is not $54. I think it's like $20 now. I know they must have discounted this clock at least two or three times since it's been released. But like I said, I pre-ordered it, so it was the normal $54 point. And the other two were the same price as well. Uh, but if you are going to be getting this clock, you are going to be saving like $30. Because I think it's on sale right now on Hot Topics app and website for like $24. I think the last time I checked, uh, that's what it said. So it is discounted, which I feel like I should have waited until now because I could have saved $30. But anyway, I did use my hot cash with this. So I actually ended up getting it for like $35 anyway. So regardless, I did save $15. But let's take a look at the packaging. It kind of looks exactly the same. I actually still have my other box from Wave 2 up in my closet. So I think the box looks exactly the same. They didn't change anything with that. Um, but you do have Jack Skeleton on the bottom right there as he's smiling. And then, it, like it said, it includes four countdown blocks, removable magnetic hanging Christmas block. Then on the side, you do have Sally. So, yeah, it looks like the box is the same as the other two, actually. And then they have lock, shock, and barrel on the side. And then in the back, I don't know if this is different or the same, but this is what the back looks like. So it shows you the back of the clock and the front. And then it has the same thing, again, as it says, includes countdown blocks, removable magnetic hanging Christmas block. So I do plan on keeping the box because I did keep the box with Wave 1 and Wave 2. So I do plan on keeping this box as well. So without any further ado, let's unbox the Nightmare Before Christmas countdown clock. And this is the perfect time to be counting down, well, to Halloween now since Christmas has just ended. So here it is. Let's unbox it. Super excited to check this out. And like I said, um, I know a lot of people be like, well... You know, if you have one and two, you know, they're, they're kind of the same. I don't really think they really changed anything of it. I feel like they should have made this a little bit different. Because when I got Wave 2, I thought it was going to be a little bit different. Because that one actually lit up uh, when you press the button so you could see the timer better. Like the clock. Uh, that was the only difference with Wave 2, which kind of which kind of wanted me to get it. And this one... See if it does light up, but I don't think it has a light up feature because I know a wave two on the box it had a little bit of like a light up picture on the box to tell you that it does light up. This one doesn't say that, so I think they might have taken that out. Who knows if they're ever even going to have that again? And I don't know, that light up feature wasn't really the greatest on wave two, it kind of wasn't as good. You had to kind of press the button in order to light it up, which I thought was kind of stupid. Um, so other way, it's really not a big deal that they didn't do that again. So it does come with this styrofoam to keep the clock into place. And here it is. So they really package this really nicely. And this is what it looks like right in the back. So let's see if it's a little bit lighter or the same. It kind of looks exactly the same as the other ones. It's got that heaviness to it. Styrofoam there kind of took its way out. And then it comes with a little um, thing here. So it just shows you with that it has a one-year limited warranty just in case something's wrong with it by the company that makes this. And then right in the styrofoam, as you can see, they do have the magnetic uh, Christmas block. So let's take a look at this. This is actually the same as the Series 2, as you can see. So it has that, that, that furry string to it. So it looks like it has the same exact thing as Wave 2. So they didn't really change anything with that. And it just says Christmas and nothing in the back. So it looks like it's exactly the same as Wave 2, except they just added the leaves around it. But let's take the plastic off of this and take a look at it. It's a big Nightmare Before Christmas fan. I'm surprised they're actually that they made another clock of this. Oh, and actually, as a matter of fact, I did notice something a little bit different. I don't know if it's just me, but I have noticed something different already right off the bat. And I'm going to take a look at that in just a second. So the difference that I've noticed, and I think that's why they displayed it in the back of the box there, because I don't remember ever seeing it in the other ones. It looked like you could see the block in the back of the clock, which isn't really that big of a deal. 
But I think that's something that they kind of added this time around. So let's take a look at it. So they do have this plastic around it just to keep it into place. So we're going to take that right off. That just keeps the blocks from falling out. Kind of put it on. So we're going to take that out for just a second. And let's take a look at it. So here it is. Here is the clock. So yeah, it's got the same weight as wave one and wave two. So really there's nothing different with that. So they didn't really change anything with that whatsoever. So they didn't really change anything with the weight in that. Um, and now something is a little bit different in the back. I don't know if wave two has this, which it might, but you could actually look at it in the back, which I don't know why you would want to look at it in the back. You can't see it, uh, but it looks exactly the same. So here's the blocks. So we're going to take out the blocks right here. And these are the same blocks as they had with wave two and wave one. So it does have the countdown numbers on it. And then on the bottom here, it does say days till Halloween, which it has these two screws. So this doesn't come out at all. So this looks exactly like the series two. And then this one, like I said, if you want to count down to Christmas, it's just magnetic. So you just put it on like that. And then when you want to take it off, you just pull it off. So yeah, this is the exact same thing as wave two on my previous video, which I have on my channel. Uh, the, but the only difference is with this one is you do get those full leaves on the side, which kind of sold me of buying this, which it's not really that big of a deal. It's exactly the same thing. But I think this looks a little bit more fancier than Wave 1 and Wave 2, to be honest. Um, but yeah, there's a Nightmare Before Christmas countdown clock. Now, in the back, to get this thing going, you would have to get a screwdriver in the back and just undo this and put two AA batteries in right there and then just close the lid. And then you just change the time to whatever time. And then it automatically goes. And then you start beginning your countdown to Halloween. So like I said, this is the exact same thing as Wave 2. Nothing really has changed. I don't know why they kind of kept it the same. I feel like they should have did something a little bit different. But, I mean, I guess if you're a collector, then yes, you definitely would want to get this. Now, I definitely wanted to get this. I kind of knew it was the same when I got it. But like I said, the only thing that's a little bit different is the orange Halloween fall leaves around it. What's the other two that I have don't have that. They just have these cranberries. But if you do look at it closely, it still has the cranberries on it on the side. So they still added that as well. So like I said, it's the same exact thing. Uh, series one was different because it didn't have the magnetic thing. This was actually in its, its own block. So you actually have to take that out. And then, and then in the back, it had a Halloween one. So you have to put the block in. So that was what the difference is with wave one, which I actually thought was kind of cool. So, but this one looks exactly like wave two. They just changed the design. So there's a Nightmare Before Christmas countdown clock. What do you guys think of it? Do you have it? Uh, do you want it? Post in the comment section down below. Uh, were you able to pick it up at Hot Topic? Like I said, it's discounted right now for I think $22 or $23. So it's a pretty good deal if you're going to pick this up now. Uh, and if you're a big Nightmare Before Christmas fan, obviously, like you know I am, you definitely would want to get this. And like I said, I had this pre-ordered, and then once it was available, it shipped right away to the store. I picked it up within like a few days, and now I have it, and it was just on time for Christmas, and now it's over, and I have the chance to unbox it. And also, too, let's just take a look at the clock as well. So those are the bat wings, kind of like Wave 1 and Wave 2, so they didn't change that at all either. So there is the Disney Tim Burns and Nightmare Before Christmas countdown clock. I'm going to be setting this up now and displaying this on my shelf. If you liked this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't for more horror and scary spooky content. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back soon on the next video.